TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 5th of January, Friday. We're looking at the Dow, which was much weaker earlier on. Now up uh, 65 points at 37,503. That nine-period exponential moving average is holding beautifully, but there has been a little bit of a pullback, and we're looking at the S&P, which also was very weak. Let's see where the S&P is. The S&P is now up 17 at 4706. Uh, this could be one of the first green days it's had in a little while. Uh, just saving the nine period moving average from turning negative, and we're looking at the QQQ. One, two, three, it's been acting very poorly. Even today, it's only up a dollar 35 at 397.75. And uh, oh, that nine period moving average is so close to turning negative. We'll see by the end of the day what happens. And let's go to the IWM, that's the Russell. 439. It's taken quite a bit of a, a beating on the, the last day. It's gone actually into past the gap of December. So we're looking at this to see what happens next. And we're looking at bonds. And bonds also had come down very sharply, still down almost a half a point at 122, 18, 30 seconds. So yields have been going up. Let's look at crude oil. Crude oil is trading up sharply. It's up a dollar 96 at uh, 74.12. Now, this is going to be interesting because we want to look at the. Um, so we looked at that. We looked at bonds. Here we go, bonds. Yep, we looked at bonds and we wanted to look at why am I? Oh, gold, of course. And gold is now up. Uh, 13 points at 2,063. It actually went right down, touched the 50-period exponential moving average, and now has popped nicely to the upside. The 9-period moving average is still above the 14, so that says that gold is still finding some intrinsic uh, uh, strength here. In a sideways, really a sideways pattern, the dollar has given back much of the gain that it had earlier this morning. It is now up six ticks at 102.47. So this market, wherever the news has been, there were jobs reports, there are a whole bunch of things going on. The market has taken this news as um, allowing for a relief rally. A very nice, the Dow is up 114 points right now, and the SME is up 23. Let's see how the day ends. Very important day because it implies the weekly charts coming up this following week after spectacular single move up to the to to the uh, single leg A. We'll see where it closes today at four o'clock. I'll be back for the tiger. Check out. The